Hey guys, here to do another video today. This time, I'm going to be having a look at a little Lego set, a Microfighters at at or AT AT, as some people have known it to be throughout the years. So it's going to be real quick because it's a real small kit. Uh, is it worth buying for what it is? Well, you know, let's have a look, shall we? Boo! All right, guys, here we have it: the Microfighters Lego. 8080 or at at as we called it back in the day. Now, obviously, this is just a small, cute version of the 8080 that we all know and love. Uh, it's a pretty good representation of what it would be in this kind of really condensed, small package with as few bits as possible to make it affordable so everyone can have their very own tiny little uh, at at 8080 on standby. Uh, it's got kind of a weird position for the seat where you'd put the driver. And for some reason, it has that little clip in the back there, I guess, for if you wanted to store a gun or something. The actual pilot himself has some really good detail on him. Looks pretty cool. I think he's, for the most part, very similar to the pilot that you get for the uh, usual jets and stuff. But apparently, this is slightly different from the ones that come with the actual AT-ATs. Uh, underneath, he has one face, and he's angry, because his name's Barry. And Barry don't take no shit. At least, that's what I'm told. Back printing's still pretty good on him, of course, because, yo, Lego, they don't usually cheap out. So in terms of articulation, let's move aside Barry here and just look at the AT-AT. -AT. Uh, unfortunately, you know, flick missiles are as effective as they ever are. Uh, it's all down to you, really, but I'm not a big fan of flick missiles. We also have a neck joint here, so you can move his head up and down, which is kind of funky. Uh, you can have it like that, as high as it goes. Uh, as I mentioned, cockpit is a bit weird. It's just kind of, he sits on the top there. Uh, guns on the side move out and they will swivel, as you would assume they would, because they're just the lever things. Uh, the legs move at two points. Uh, pretty good, actually, for this size. You can get him to look like he's really romping and stomping around. Or if you want, you can make him go on his hind legs and neigh like a horse. Though it's not a super tight joint. If you get him like that, it's fine. Otherwise, it, it's all about friction as I'm sure you're aware. Or you can have him, like, head down and, like, he's been blown up. And, uh, I don't know, you get poor, uh, poor Barry here and he's like, Oh, no, not my at-at. No. And, I mean, that's really all there is to say. It's a quick little fun build. It looks neat. It's not that expensive. It comes with a pretty good-looking minifigure. Uh, and, yo, it's better than spending, like, nearly a hundred pounds or more on the bigger kit. Nothing wrong with the bigger kit. Uh, but if, like, uh, you just go, I'm having a bad day at work. You know what I want? I want a small little Lego set. This is it. Look how fun it is. It's just so little and cute. Uh, and, yo, I... And, hey, I, th I think it's good. I've always been a fan of Adats, and this is uh, probably as close as I'm going to get to the big one. So, thank you guys for watching, and I will catch you in the future for some maybe more Lego or something. Woo, Lego!